Hello and welcome to this video. We're going to use a bamboo stick as our microphone holder. Hey everyone! So this is Dasha. I, you've seen her in other videos. And my name is Serge. You've seen me not only in other videos but also on some other channels uh, possibly. And in this video we're going to talk about more relationship stuff and specifically we are a little bit... Should we adjust the camera? No? Is that alright? Okay, specifically, this video is going to be, what is it going to be called? How to attract a girl or interest a girl. And uh, number one, talk to ugly and fat girls. I know this sounds kind of weird and mean and not correct, but uh, the thing is, girls are social beings and they see their social intelligence, their sh social IQ picks up on little subtle things that you do that will show if in your mind you have garbage or if you might be a soul worth giving attention back to worth talking to so if you're only going to talk to pretty girls uh, they're gonna see that right away and you won't be able to go through the front gate and won't even come up to the front door to the doorbell and have to the doorbell and will have no chance to get inside that house but if you want to sneak in through the back door you can talk to all people talk to everybody talk to yeah and it's not only about like a guy talking to a girl it's like about everyone if uh, a person always attracts if he is like or she is very talkative social uh, making yeah. love everyone yeah if you see somebody in the room at a party at a, um, that is by themselves uh, go make them some company you see somebody else like that go talk to them that way the girls even the pr and the pretty ones they will notice they will be like hey he's friends with those guys and he's not afraid to talk to them and he's you know and talk to everybody and but her right if you want to be really uh pull her in talk to everybody but her but not too much you can't ignore her too much you know say hi hello to her a little bit to the pretty girls but um it, and some pretty girls are not worth talking to are not worth your time right uh because um for for other reasons but um talk to everybody is the main point be social with everybody that will show that you are a soul and you care about other souls which is what we all are right and yeah and then you'll that you will get past the filter the, the the front gate that the pretty girls have because they've been uh, talked to by many uh, they've been approached by many in their life right uh, and uh, they they can see uh, incorrect or some kind of uh, ulterior motives. You know, not 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 a f they can spot a non friendly uh, a non friendly uh, intentions mm -hmm. right away. So mm -hmm. that's why. Th but if I see like a guy is talking to everyone and including me, I'd be like, well, yeah, he's just likes to talk to everyone yeah he's uh, not you, you creepy you know. man who's yeah following me okay yeah right so the creepy guys only talk to the pretty girls right yeah i think so yeah it's, think about that it's like mm -hmm. if guys that have creeped you out have you noticed them talking to maybe you know no the the the, the dork in the room the bookworm you know <laughs> right <laughs> you know Right, right. They, they mm -hmm. don't do that, right? And and we have some friends. We don't have to mention names. Like, uh, we were were trying to introduce them to our circles of friends, and he's like, "No, I don't want to talk to them. I don't want to go. I have mm -hmm. lunch with them. Uh, only that Being one picky. pretty girl. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's like, hey, you know, the, the the one that's not that pretty. She might have a nice pretty sister. I don't know. Y you know, like, why are you ruining your chances? You, you know, just by that." Right, I mean, how yeah. silly, how silly to do that, to judge other people like that. And so talk to everybody, talk to the ugly girls, talk to the fat girls, right? <laughs> it sounds so bad. Yeah. But um, 
uh, but you have to say it like that because um, because uh, it's profound you know our minds can be so polluted that you got to fix them like that so number two look for indicators of interest um, that doesn't mean you show indicators of interest. You can, uh, you don't have to convey indicators of interest to see others' indicators of interest. So, look for things such as um, when you enter a room and maybe somebody uh, just fix their hair ever so lightly. Huh? <laughs> just like uh, making sure they look pretty, right? Making sure like they noticed you. They may have not they may have or may have not made eye can uh, contact with you but they noticed you and they're trying to put all their books together to make sure everything's correct uh, look for subtle things like that uh, and uh, that way you know you may have a chance when you come and talk to her that th there was at least a little bit of interest you know um, there, there's at least that uh, that uh, 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 instant attraction, you know, or instant some kind of uh, you caught them off guard a little bit, you know. Learn to look for things like that, okay. And then number three, you can make indicators of interest. If you uh, have somebody in the room that you kind of have an eye on, an eye for, you can do things to get them to um, uh, be, not necessarily make, force them to have indicators of interest for you, but you can make, make it a good situation for them to be comfortable to show uh, slight indicators of interest. So that could be something like, um, like I'm talking to the guys and I'm not completely turning my back to the girl I want to attract, but kind of like, she's kind of over my shoulder, you know, and I know she's there and I acknowledge her, you know, but, but, um, I'm talking to the guys. I'm talking with the, because we've got the magic between us. We're, so I'm in my little group and, uh, yeah, I notice her over there. Oh yeah. How you doing back there? You know, and then maybe she will try to sit closer or come up or ask you something irrelevant, you know, just to have a chance to have an interaction with you. Yeah, a girl, if she likes uh, a guy, she would want him to talk to her and she will be looking for the ways to be like on his way or like the, that he will notice her or to start the conversation. Right. Um, so the number four, do a compliance test. ABC always be closing. Compliance, right? Compliance means um, go for the the closing questions. Go for where she has to do what you ask her to do. You know, like get her number, get her contact information. Um, going out on a date, asking her out on a date, right? So what you'll do is um, if you notice some indicators of interest, then it's pretty much a no-brainer. You pretty much have a good shot at risking to ask for her number and she'll give it to you, right? Or give you her number. Yeah. Uh, let's see if she calls you. So number five, be congruent and honest. Don't try to cover things up. There have been plenty of uh, fancy cars that I've driven that weren't mine. And uh, I tried to look better than I was. But when I met Dasha, I drove the worst car there is. And uh, she's seen it and she didn't even care because I was acting congruent. I was there uh, with the type of um, attitude of what kind of attitude did I have when we met? <laughs> no, he was just a man. He was just a real man. I, I don't even know how to explain. He was confident. He was joking. And uh, he was did everything 
Like uh, so, I, I felt was, comfortable. I was like, hope you don't With mind him. riding in this car. It's the most dangerous one in town. <laughs> yeah, he's kind of was yeah. acting like a friend. He wasn't like <laughs> pushing me too much, but um, he was uh, respectful and uh, like I could feel that he kind of likes me. Okay, that brings us to number six. Let her know you're interested in her. This is kind of a big one because there are plenty of friends, right? Mm -hmm. Or friend zoning or um, don't let it get to the point where you're just her buddy. Mm -hmm. You got to... She wants you to be doing the romantic stuff. She's seen thousands of movies and romance uh, scenes, right? Where like it's all like um, serendipitous type moment or something. Something, um, you know, you, she drops a glove and you picked it up or something like that. So um, do something silly along that type of mindset where uh, it's uh, it's obvious that you're interested to her in her and you let her know and that's kind of a scary thing because she could blow you off but it doesn't matter hopefully she does and you could just like move on because you wouldn't want a fake yes from her or, you know um, you wa wouldn't want her to say yes when she really doesn't like you but um, you got to let her know that you like her and that you're serious. And uh, you will find one that likes you and that's serious about you. Or would seriously give you a chance. Um, but the only way to know is to go for the kiss on the first date. Okay, not quite that. May uh, That may get you thrown out the window. No, no, I'm just joking. Don't don't f go for the kiss, but first, like let. But you gotta make sure that she likes you back. Yeah, but you gotta at least hold her hand sometime, or try to hold it, and then if she says Maybe, no, I don't yeah. want to hold hands. We're not like that. Then you know. Then you know. Mm -hmm. You gotta. No, don't don't go for a kiss on the first date. Yeah. The only I'm, only I'm if you feel only if you feel like there's a real chemistry between you, both of you. Yes, yeah. and, and the girl hates when it's like undecisive. You like kind of like each other, but you're kind of friends. But you like, but you like, he never told you that uh, he likes you. So it's like between, and like you can't you can't see if it's if he likes you or not. So that's the worst. That's but why really? friend zone starts. Yeah, when like you don't know what you're, he feels about you. You're saying that as if that happened one too many times. Huh? You're saying that <laughs> I it's the worst uh -huh. when a guy is, you don't know if a guy's serious or not. Yeah, yeah. Because it happened several times, yes. huh? Mm -hmm. You really? Mm hmm. Happened all the time until last time, huh? <laughs> 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 yeah, so that's the worst when you don't know in what kind of relationship you, just you wish are. Th you would just wish they would have been like, hey, you're ugly, get out of here. You would have been happy with that. But no, just, just don't talk if you don't like me or. Just I don't, don't know. talk. Yeah. So, so let a girl know that you are interested in her. I don't know. Make a compliment. M say something about her. I don't Hi, know. I saw you. My name's Serge. I thought you looked nice. What's your name? Uh, how, who'd you come here with? Uh, what are you doing afterwards? Do you come here a lot? Not that many questions. <laughs> Not that many questions. <laughs> I don't know. Just but say like nice dress or something like that. It will make a girl nice feel dress. Did you get it better uh, about you. Nice shoes. Did you get them at the bowling alley? No. <laughs> nice joke. No, no one ever. Uh, <laughs> that's a rare one that uh, my brother came up with, actually. Uh, really? But, but <laughs> yeah, um, did I say that to you ever? Uh -uh. She was like, "What's a bowling alley?" No. <laughs> <laughs> I could. <laughs> You're like, let me translate that on Google. But no. Um, is is that how we see on our second date? I pretty much I was like. Hey, I think I really like her, and I want to like go serious. Mm -hmm. And I knew she was gonna say, "You're crazy, get out of here." So I just started saying a whole bunch of stuff. I said, 
I don't know if I should be saying this now, but I'm just going to say it because it's on my mind. And uh, my name is Serge, and I like you so far. We went out to dates. I'd like to get to know you better. Let's go traveling together. That's the best way to get to know each other even more when you're traveling together because then you're just stuck with each other and not just endlessly dating and dating. And I knew she was going to say, that sounds like a terrible idea, and um, you look like you're probably going to kill me so no way get away but instead she said you know what she said she didn't say yes she said could you give me a week to think about it and I was like another oh. week <laughs> I was like another week of course of course uh, but I took a big risk I took a big risk and what were you thinking at that time well yeah I was shocked too I didn't expect it from you You're on the like second date I uh, I was shocked, but you wanted to get to know me I better before you. Yeah, I you wanted to spend that. time with you, and since you offered me this, I was like, okay, he is really serious. So I did want to know you better, and I so we did wanted to travel too. We did go out that week too, and then when the week came up, I I was still on. Oh, I still thought you might have. Go I ahead. I knew that if uh, I don't go with him now, I'll regret later. So that's why <laughs> I said yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, at I the end of the week? That's knew, why you said yes? I knew that I'll regret later. So I was like, ah, let's go. Because I really wanted to um, talk to him more. And I knew if I say no, we probably will never see each other again. Well, I'm glad you said yes. Yeah, that are was nice, yes. <laughs> are you glad too? <laughs> of course, I'm so of happy. Of course, yeah. So if you all um, have any kind of questions about relationships or any kind of advice, uh, some people have been writing to us recently and they're like, hey, we're so encouraged, uh, Serge, uh, with uh, your videos on YouTube and your relationship. And um, some people will send us questions and... I've answered a few or um, if you got a little situation uh, where you're going out and you don't know what to do or write to us on our Instagrams we'll have them in the link we'll the have them linked in the description below and I'll answer them back I'll help you out Dasha can read them too and help you out have fun maybe we could introduce you to some of our friends and our, or, you know, your friends and yeah. our friends, and you all start uh, meeting each other. What kind of uh, interesting stuff? We already had that happen. We already had two of our friends get married. <laughs> yeah, and recently. We, we kind of helped them out. Oh yeah, <laughs> if it wasn't Serge, they would probably yeah. never be together. Yeah. So. Um, at first, uh, when they seen each other at a, what was it? Uh, a picnic. A picnic. Dasha asked her friend, she was like, what do you think about Serge's friend over there? What did she say? He's ugly, get him away from me. Kind of like that, yeah. Kind of like that. And I was like, perfect. That's <laughs> the kind of thing that works. <laughs> no, but uh, then we have a dinner with them yeah, all together. Yeah, what happened was... And after that night, huh? <laughs> Yeah, should we explain Everything how changed. the night went a little bit? It went kind of like this. Dasha, uh, I said, Dasha, why don't you go out with your friend? Um, we're not going to be in town for a while, and I know you'll miss her when you'll be away. So why don't you go have a little girls' night out? And meanwhile, I go up with my buddy, and I'm saying, hey, let's go hang out. And I made sure that we were not too far from where I thought Dasha could be with her friend. And I didn't even know that it was his plan. <laughs> Yeah, well, it wasn't necessarily the plan, but I was trying to think about that kind of stuff. Uh, I'm trying to uh, make sure that we are close by, just in case, just in case. And then, what do I do? I call my wife to see how her night's going, make sure she's safe and all right. And you answer the phone, and what did you say? You're like, yeah, we're having fun, we're about to have dinner. Yeah. Um, I said, oh, I, I'd like to have dinner 
and I'm here with my buddy. You know, th th this is where I'm at, and, and that's just like. And no, my friend, no, my friend Yana. She was like, okay, I'll let invite them here too. She heard. It, she said, hey. But yeah. she knew that it was that guy that she didn't like first. Yeah, she she knew it was the guy. N now she might have changed her opinion. She didn't even have an opinion at that moment, probably. But yeah, she invited us over oh let's make this girls night out with with you guys too so we ended up having uh, some dinner at a restaurant the girls were hungry and uh, we were kind of hungry too and then sneaky surge was like buddy I'm gonna help you out I'm gonna be the ultimate wingman because Yana's like oh I gotta wake up at 4 35 in the morning the night we gotta go home and I was like yeah yeah whatever I, I'm not buying that and uh <laughs> what did I do? I said. Yeah, I said. I let said, me see your house. No, no, not yet. Not the house yet. I was. Oh, the I beach. was like, oh look, the moon is out. What a beautiful night to go walk by the beach. It's only two blocks away or whatever. Let's go, girls. What do you think? Um, and Dasha was like, yeah, yeah. What a great idea. So of course they were at the beach. The four of us alone. The four of us in the moonlight two couples uh, yeah and then uh dasha's friend is like i don't know about you guys but you all gotta turn around i'm taking my clothes off going swimming in the moonlight in the ocean and she was like serge don't look and i was like to my buddy buddy here's your chance you gotta go swimming too because i'm not going swimming and Dasha, you don't want to do that either mm -hmm. like we were just kind of like i don't know so uh then what happened then we're all wet and out of the ocean and i was like hey dasha's friend i've known you for so long but you never invited dasha and i over you only dasha comes over to your house all the time let me see what kind of view you have out the window you know she doesn't have a good view <laughs> you know and um and uh, that way my buddy didn't have to invite himself over you know because if she says no to him that kind of like ruins the atmosphere right but if she says no to me it doesn't matter mm -hmm. right uh, you know and she said yes and we spent like two more hours at the house and they ended up talking and talking and i was just mm -hmm. hanging out with dasha talking mm -hmm. to her and give my friend time and then a week later we were already traveling somewhere truck driving and your friend calls you and says, Dasha. Vlad, Vlad is, she says, Vlad is nice. Vlad is the name of the, his friend. Yeah, Vlad is nice. We are talking. She's like, thanks for introducing. Yeah. Uh, so, um, so yeah, my social butterfly Best skills man. have paid off to uh, some people. <laughs> She's like stepping on my feet now. You need to step back. I'm kind of afraid of this back to me. <laughs> <laughs> That's the truth. We thought, let's make a video up high on the from the, our balcony. So, um, yeah, thanks for yeah, that's uh, it. thanks for being our friend. Thanks for sending us the messages. And if you have any questions, we can do uh, another video answering your question. Yeah, we hope we could encourage you furthermore with our relationship and be an example and. Uh, a lot of people uh, these days uh, have all kinds of questions regarding this. And we're not perfect experts. We're just regular people. I'm just a truck driver. but uh, I'm just a model. <laughs> just <kidding. laughs> yeah, Dasha's gorgeous. <laughs> Isn't she gorgeous? I'm the luckiest guy on the planet with her. Huh? Look at her. All, um, I'm lucky too. She's lucky too? You want her to say that about you, buddy? You want her to say that she's lucky to have you? Buy my course. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I did learn a lot. If you message me, I can uh, message you back a uh, packet of videos I've seen. I, I think later I'll have to kind of <laughs> make our, maybe we could make our own video. If, if this gets a lot of views, if this gets a lot of uh, momentum, if maybe we will take time and seriously make some kind of um, more video series about relationships Packages, yeah. because um, this is important this is important 
how to carry yourself, how to be a man, how to be attractive. Mm-hmm. And um, that way you'll have the magic and the girls will come snapping at you every uh, wh- time. I Have you heard that song? I've got the magic in me. Every time I touch that track, it turns into gold. No, no. never mind. I'm, I'm bad at singing. <laughs> Just every woman, every girl wants to feel confidence from the man. But sometimes... You know, it's it's weird. It's like a mind thing, right? Just you decide. As a man, you decide you like her or not. If you like, you move forward with her and do everything that she likes you back. If you you don't like her, then maybe she don't make even good sandwiches. Um, maybe he tasted a sandwich that she made, and then he goes, "I'm not sure about this." Sandwich is not the most important thing in a relationship. Because you can order one. You can order one. But you can't order a good personality. So work on your personality. And come on out to Miami. So I guess that's all for this video. Thanks again for your comments and your subscriptions. Bye.